Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows you how you can vary the relative sizes of the individual fonts that are inside of an EPUB in the Reader of Caliber. And I am going to go to the Editor of Caliber and go to the Cascading Style Sheets and I'm going to change the relative sizes of the fonts one to the other. Now I'm not talking about enlarging all of the fonts as a group. When you do that, everything gets bigger, but it, they get bigger at the same uh, relative size. So I've got here the title, the H1 header, that is the main chapter heading. I've also got a subchapter that's in red. It says registration. And then I've also got under that the captions. The captions are three quarters of an M. The main text is 1M. The red H2 is 2M. And then this is 1M. That's the H1, the main chapter. And then you say to yourself, well, no, wait a minute. Why? What, what's this stuff in the box? Well, I just did a trick there because I'm lazy. I put the title inside of a yellow frame and I use the caption for that and I put it in at three-quarter size. So this blue is three-quarter size of this here and I'll show you that in just a minute. This is the reader. Now I'm going to go over to the editor and I'm in the cascading style sheets and as you might guess everything that says font dash size colon space is followed by either three-quarter M, 1M, 2M, or 3M. But you can change that to anything you want. Now, I'm on the first page there, and let's just deal with the, the captions first. I'm going to go down, and we're going to uh, find... Let's see, I've got to go... I've got to find a caption right here. And you can see that that's three-quarters of the normal size of regular text. But when I go back to the cascading style sheet and change that, I can change it if I want to to half of an M and watch it shrink. It got so small you can't see it. Or how about I just change it to 1M and now it's going to be the same size as regular text but it looks darker. You see I've got italic and I've got bold and that's fine. I mean, if you like it like that, you can do it that way. If you go to the top now, you'll notice that the blue up here in the title is the exact same size as the H1 heading. And that's because the stuff up here inside is actually uh, set as a caption. And so it got bigger. And you'll notice that the frame is nicely configured around the title because it stops right here but it's not half of a screen either so I want to show you there what is going on we're going to go to that and I have got the size of the frame as frame left auto and auto is the key and if we go down here to frame left, I've got it as an A, FLA dot FLA. And let me find it. FLA is dot FLA and the width is auto. But I also have one that's F100. There's no sense giving it an L or an R because 100 is all the way across the screen. So watch what happens when I change that value in FLA to F100 the F100 now causes the frame to extend well beyond the text and it looks funny it just doesn't look right however how about if I go FL50 Oh, it's capital L, sorry. Uh, Linux is case sensitive. And see, that looks funny too. 
So there are times when you will be wanting to use the auto and times you don't want to use the auto. Let's go back up to the cascading style sheet and I'm going to go to the top where we've got H1 and I've got 3M. What do you say just for the grins I hit 4? Everything got bigger. All the H1 main chapter headings is larger. Too large in my opinion. And if I go to the H2 where it says uh, 2M, you know, you can do a half of one, uh, 1.5M, and it'll get smaller, but not too small. It's up to you. But this is a very quick way for you to change the fonts around. Also, if you do not like the color of something, let's say, for instance, that we're going to go look at the sub chapters, which are in red right here and uh, it's an H2 but it's in red. Uh, I want to not have them in red. I, I certainly really don't want them in green but let's say I do. Well G-R-E-E-N. Now I'm typing in green, red, blue, black, yellow and stuff like that. You can of course also put in the uh, more complicated hex numerical, alphanumerical system, but th these are quick and dirty. My name is Pop, and I hope you enjoyed this. I thank you very, very much.